Sorry for the decorations. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's a tomboy, so you got soccer stuff and some other Hunger games and, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Clean the sheets, but since he wasn't coming tonight, I didn't make the bed yet. All right, no, I'm fine. We're good. No, that's cool. And this is the entertainment room. Yeah, we, we had, um, this is where uh, Namari will be playing all his games and watching his so Netflix. Very nice and comfy. Play and sit with all their friends. And I stuff. won. No, I won. Yeah, we talked. Yeah, good. I thought you could talk. You just got to keep a straight face. No, 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 you can't. All right, y'all. No, that's too right. And just like that, my baby is gone. I'm going to miss him. Guess what, you guys? I am back in Napa at Namari's host family house, picking my baby up. They thought they was going to keep my baby. Please. I know some of these other parents feel comfortable, and not to say that I'm not, but I have one child. He has three years before he gets to college, and there's no way my baby's going to be living without his mama. Just like boys need their daddies, my baby need his mama. So I am here picking him up whether he likes it or not. <laughs> so follow me as we say bye to his host family. To give myself a right to share what I believe in. Ooh, ooh, they say I've got an issue. Always on the edge cause I don't trust. But I don't need your word no more than meant to. A freak it to my ego. Forbidden. So everyone say hi to Kyle. This is Namari's host dad. Hello, everybody. He doesn't like cameras, but, you know, dealing with Nikki, you're going to get a little camera action. Just wanted to ask, how was it having my baby here with you guys? It was awesome. And my, my youngest son, Brayden, thought it was great having Nate and Namari. Polite. Loved to eat. Was, did, <laughs> did his dishes. Uh, was, was, was a great pleasure. Played with the kids well. I mean, it's sometimes like having a bunch of uh, third graders here. It was awesome. <laughs> Well, we thank you for keeping him and treating him as as your own. We truly appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. It was our pleasure. We, we yeah. loved having it, and hopefully you can come back and have a stay over a night or two here and there. Absolutely. Absolutely. It was great. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So, everybody, this is Janathan. This is Namari's host brother from New York. And they have been staying here and enjoying themselves, probably staying up to midnight. <laughs> So how was That's it? An That's an understatement. That's an understatement. See, Namari got a he got a bad time at home. That's why he want to stay. That's probably it. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to see how it was with you know taking in a little brother and yeah, it teammate. Great. It's great good to have a bond. It's like we got so much in common. It's funny how much we got in common. But that's like I really take him as a brother. Oh, we appreciate it. Well, I heard that y'all been eating them out of house and home. Absolutely, but we don't mind. It doesn't go to waste. <laughs> what you say you tell your mama? What you say you told your mama? Oh, like don't worry, cause I'm good. I'm eating good, living good. Yeah. <laughs> you you know us mamas, we be like, so um, you good over there? And he said he told his mama, mama, yeah, they take care so. of me. And my mom, she be tripping. You okay? You okay? Yeah. Like mom, I'm alright. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy letting your kids go t halfway across the, the country to follow their dreams. And, right. you know, obviously she did it. I did it. But, you know, I'm here. I'm right. picking my baby up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he'll be here to to um, spend time with you guys a few times a week because um, he got used to this life. <laughs> Welcome home. What's up? What do you nice. think about your room? It's cool. I'm tired. I really like the bed. Um, that's not a welcome home, Namari. Look, I decorated this room. I put all these trophies cool. up. I hung up your... You love burning candles. I didn't even got your candle. Can Look I, at that. Can I blow it out? No. I want your room to smell fresh. I said don't blow it out. Okay. So what you think? It's nice. I mean, you had a nice little room over there and everything, but it wasn't like this. Yeah, it's cool. It look comfortable. look comfortable. I got you your sleep number. I don't think you appreciate me. I do. I love you for everything, Mom. All right. Well, you happy with your room? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm thrilled. Oh, whatever. <laughs>
you just getting home and you want to get on the phone, I have a few questions that I need answers. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Just get better. Okay. So I want to know, like, how was your experience overall? Um, it was it was cool. They was they was good to me. We ate a lot of food. They had some nice chocolate milk. It was real good. <laughs> chocolate it was milk. Rich and creamy. You know, Miss Foster wouldn't yeah. approve of that. Chocolate milk. That's the best stuff. Well, she, she got to get it. And then she understand. Okay, but, I won't. I won't tell her that. But so, who did most of the cooking? And like, what did you eat? Um, Chris did most of the cooking. The host mom. I ate. Um, it was a lot of stuff. I mean, it's a lot. So like what? It's hard to remember. It was a nice amount of pasta. The pasta was good. She cooked some ground turkey that tasted like orange chicken. So that was new to me, but that was real good. Ground turkey that tastes like orange chicken. Yeah, and it was. Oh, uh, they cooked a lot of stuff, a lot of chicken, a lot of turkey, because, you know, I don't eat beef and pork. Yeah, I want to make sure they want to feed my baby no beef and pork. You know, we don't do that. Yeah, we had some tacos, some um, um, some um, rice and beans and stuff like that. Red beans and rice? Not like that. Like, it was a separate pot of beans and a separate pot of rice. Okay. And you could mix it together if you wanted to, you know? So did they kind of stick with our whole, you know, eating healthy? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, good. Kept it nice and healthy. Good. So did they have like rules? Did you have chores? Were they strict? Like what was that experience like? No major rules. No, no rules at all, to be honest, you know, just a regular way of living in the house. They were, they weren't strict. No. You know, it wasn't like you had to wash the dishes and do chores all day. You know, you, you did chores if you wanted to. You know, you can wash the dishes, take out the trash if you wanted to. If and you wanted to? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. Yeah. So they pretty much didn't give you things to do. You just took it upon your liberty because you've been raised the right way to help out, right? Well, you can say it like that. <laughs> but, um, you know, I was just, you know, I just want to have a good impression on them. So I, um, you know did everything I can do to do that. So were they strict? Not at all. He was nice. And um, you no know, bedtime wasn't a problem with him, but I still stayed disciplined and, you know, went to bed at like 10, 30, 10. So no problem at all. So did you get homesick? Did you miss me? Did you miss your dad? Homesick? Nah. I miss y'all, y'all, you know, you know, there's nothing like being with your parents. Oh. But yeah, it's like I was a little homesick from Chicago, just a little bit, not too much. And then I was a little I wasn't homesick at all. From Fresno to here. Mhm. Mm and I missed y'all a little bit. Just a little bit? Yeah. I mean I wasn't really gone that long. You was gone like long enough. Long. I missed you. How long was it? At least a month. Oh wow, that is kinda of long. To be away from your loving and caring and okay. best mom ever okay. Don't <laughs> so yourself. well i'm i'm the best mom ever you should be able to attest to that you don't agree yeah yeah i don't know no moms no cooler than me i'm the best mom best mom mm -hmm. if you don't give me the award i'm gonna give it to myself mm -hmm. so were you happy that we picked you up no i want to stay why <laughs> i'm just playing yeah i want to come see my new house you know see I want to see my video again. Of course you there. did. Yeah, Plus, well, you know. see, I got both your, I got two TVs up here for you. We got your gaming TV, and then we have cable. for your That's Netflix. Cable. Yeah, well, you don't need to really do cable. No, no, no. Netflix and the game on the same TV. Okay, well, however you do it, but I mean, I got your two TVs, so you can do whatever you want to do. And I got your vitamins, because I bet you they ain't had no vitamins over there for you, did they? You see? Yeah, you're the best. Only certain things you get at home. Yeah. So now that you're in your new house, I mean, it's not as big as theirs, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything. Home is what you make it. But my question is, do you want to, like, possibly go back over and stay, or are you just happy at home and want to get settled here? Yeah, I want to get settled here, but like, you know, every weekend I can 
stay over there because they, they were good to me. And um, hanging out with Nate was good. It was fun. And there's going to be a lot more hanging out since, you know, basketball season and everything else we got going on. So, yeah, I'd definitely like to get comfortable here and then, you know, on the weekends I can go over there. Okay. Well, I think we can arrange that. I'm pretty comfortable with Chris and Kyle. Mm -hmm. Good you people. Know. Yeah, good people, and they taking care of my baby. So I think I'm good with that. I'll share you, I guess.